folks, welcome to another Fiddlehead Fiddle Lesson. Now we're gonna do the tune Margaret's Waltz. All right, we're gonna do a beginner version of it, and later on I'll do a video which is more involved, has some melodic variation and some Irish embellishments. For now, I'm just gonna play the whole thing, and then we'll learn it note by note, building up phrases afterwards. Also, um, in case you haven't done these lessons before, there's um, tabs or left-hand fingerings in the comments below. All right, let's get started. Margaret's Waltz. Cool. So, you get closer so you can see what the left hand is doing now, better. Um, I'm going to just start with the pickup notes. I think that makes more sense for this tune. Um, so I'm going to play the entire first quarter of Margaret's Waltz right now with the pickup notes. There it is again. Okay, so we're starting open A to D2. And then we're gonna go one, one, two on D. And then continue back up to the A with open one, two on A. Here's that little piece again. Followed by this. And then that may finishes our fourth quarter, our first quarter. Here's the whole thing again. It's kind of an awkward ending point, um, but that's just the way it goes if you divide this one into quarters. Um, I couldn't, I actually tried to figure out a, a more natural way to do it, but this, I opted for this ultimately because it seemed to make the most sense. Um, here, here, so here's the fourth, the first quarter again. Moving on to the second quarter, I'm just going to play the whole thing, then break it down. There it is again. All right, so I'm gonna break it down. A1, open A, to D2. And back up to open A. There's that again. And then followed by A1 twice. So it's a one, one, two, one, open. Here's the whole second quarter again. Here's again. Third quarter, starting D1. I'm gonna play the whole thing first. Breaking that down, D1, 1, 2, and then up to A1, A open, A1. And then A2, open E, open A. 
There's that again. So the whole uh, third quarter. All right. Fourth quarter, I'll play the whole thing for you. It's, I know these are awkward pieces, but um, it, it's the way the melody is, like the beginning of the, on the downbeats, it almost sounds like a pickup, but it's kind of not. It's just um, the melody itself, the basic melody itself. So this, we're doing the fourth quarter, and this, there's, we're gonna repeat the whole A part. This is the fourth quarter of the A part. Um, and this, each A part will have a different ending. So this is the first ending of the A part. So I'm gonna do it again. So it starts A2 twice, to A1, and then to open A. And then we're gonna add open A1, open A, D2. And then go back to the beginning of the A part. So here's the whole fourth quarter once. Now I'm going to go back to the first quarter so you can see how this works. Once you get the pieces together and flowing, this tune is just amazingly sweet. Um, so, but these little partial, these quarters just sound kind of odd compared to other tunes like polkas, which just each little part sounds perfect like it is. These sound incomplete. So, at least to me, maybe I should just do it and stop talking about it. Um, the fourth quarter, second ending would be this. So it starts the same, like A2, 2, 2, 1, open. And instead of going down there, like we do in the um, first ending, the second ending of the fourth quarter will walk up to like a soaring B part. And then we're gonna keep going, going, going until we reach the sky. So here's the fourth quarter one more time. And that's the fourth quarter, uh, the second time through, okay? Um, so if anything was unclear, please um, pause the video, go and rewind to the spot you need to work on and just practice that for a little bit right now. All right, cool. Now we're gonna do the A part twice. And when we get to the end of it, I'm just gonna continue into the B part so you can see a little bit how it works and how it feels. And then we're gonna go and work on the B part separately. So I just want to do the fourth quarter again, in that transition again. All right, I think I maybe messed it up a little bit. Anyway, if you're unsure, there's tabs below. Um, but let's move on now to the fourth quarter. Um, sorry, to the, let's move on to the B part, all right? Gonna do the first quarter of the B part. I'm gonna do the first quarter of the B part. All right, here's that again. Uh, I'll actually start by going 
up on the E string, open, one, two, three, all right, breaking it down, now we're going to do, um, add another two, three after that. Here's that again. After that, we're going to go E1 open, down to A3 now. Okay, let's listen to all that. Second part of the first quarter, starting E1 to open E twice. and then ending on A2. All right, whole first quarter slow again. First quarter of the B part. Moving on, let's do the second quarter of the B part. So, um, let's break down the second quarter. That's sort of just walking up in A scale. We're going to do A, the open A twice, and then walk up. And then after that, we're going to go back down to open A and do... It's an A major triad for those of you keeping score at home. So, this is what we have so far. And now we're going to kind of do a, a walking down line from E1. So, an E1 open, then A3, 2, 1, 2, 3. So let me just play the whole second quarter again, kind of an odd part. All right, moving on to the third quarter. Um, if anything is unclear, I recommend pausing the video and practicing for a moment. Third quarter of the B part. So it's going to start walking up and down on the E string, the notes of the A scale. Open, one, two, three, two, one, open, one, open. All right, and then we're going to end with um, going to A, three, two, three, bunch of notes on the A. Three, two, three, three, two, three, one, one, two, one, open. Putting slip together the whole third quarter of the B part slowly. All right, we're now gonna do um, the fourth quarter. The fourth quarter will have two endings too. Um, one, the first ending will be if you're repeating back to an A part. So the form is, is, as I'm teaching it, is A, A, B, with a longer B part. So um, you would do, if you're just gonna be cycling the tune again, then you would do this, the first, the first quarter that I'm teaching you now. If you're ending the tune, it's kind of, you'll see it'll make sense, you're just kind of ending with a long A note, all right? 
So I'm going to play the whole fourth quarter as if we're repeating. Alright, so let's work on that. D1. Adding an open A, 1, 2. To open E, open A. Then A two, two, one, open. So we have. I'll just say that that's where you would end it if we were doing a final ending. But then if we're going to be cycling back, we'll do on, we'll add another part, we'll add this. I think it makes more sense to think of it that way. Think of the basic ending or the final ending and then think of what you can add to lead in to the beginning of the tune again. So. Once again, I'm just going to do the whole fourth quarter um, with uh, the final ending. Good. Now here's the fourth quarter leading back to the uh, A part. So again, the part I added to lead back is... Alright. Okay, cool. So you now have the whole B part. I'm just going to play the entire B part with the final ending now. I think that's the simplest way to do it. And then maybe I'll also do a little bit of the fourth quarter into the A part so you can hear that. So here's the whole B part as if we're ending the tune. Okay, um, now if we were to go back to the A part, the fourth quarter would sound like this. And so on into another A. All right, so. Thanks for your patience with this. I'm glad you made it through the entire video. It's a sweet tune. We're going to have another lesson follow up on this with adds more things to it, more cool sounding stuff. You can do with the fiddle and see you next time on Fiddlehead Fiddle Channel. So long. Thanks for